Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching this video. I <laughs> I got a fun story to tell you. Um, I literally just made like a 19 minute video to um, tutorialize the process and how I made this. And the device that I'm using, I didn't check the storage and it cut me off and I thought it was backed up and the Wi-Fi wasn't on this device. So I deleted it and bye bye video. So uh, <laughs> I'm just going to run through it, what I did real quick here. Um, I am still using the Famo Wood gl Glaze Coat. Uh, two parts, one and one. You pour part B into part A, you mix that for six minutes, then you pour that mixture into a brand new cup, mix that for six minutes. Um, I don't mix it for six minutes anymore because I was, I guess, taking my sweet time because I'm new to this. Um, this is only my third pour. And so it, it kind of got weird on me. Um. So I cut it to like three and three. Um, I used literally eight ounces of resin. Um, this is going to be my first layer, my backdrop. I thirded that eight ounces into three cups. Um, one, I used the white alcohol ink. And then I used purple. And then, this is really awesome, um, this is refillable ink for an ink pad. It's water-based, and it mixed really well, if you can't tell. Um, I don't know if white alcohol ink will bring this uh, down to your front or your face, uh, like it does with the other alcohol inks, um, but I'm definitely going to try. I ordered a 229 piece molding set off of Amazon. Awesome. It was only 15 bucks. Um, I also got a heat gun. I've been using just a regular grill lighter um, to heat out my bubbles, um, which I've already done. <laughs> but uh, that's on the other video. We won't talk about that because I had to really cool down. I was super livid. And um, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm a Gemini, so my temper goes uh, 0 to 600 in about 3 seconds. Um, so I did add some silver and purple glitter to the white mixture and I kind of just went around in a circle. I've been wondering if I could use a blow dryer um, on something this big and I literally, it's my little craft box, um, I literally took a toothpick and did one of these, you know, like you do on the top of your brownies or your cake mix or whatever makes it nice and pretty. Um, and then I took my hair dryer and which is, it's not a, the, the out, the out piece on the hair dryer is not circle. It's like this. So I didn't get that precision pointing that you would normally get that would probably mess up your resin um but I did use it to move this around a little bit um and I <laughs> I have noticed that it, by watching the video other people's videos and tutorials whether it's on um, YouTube or Instagram that even though you might think that you're messing up your project or your creation or what have you, I'm telling you that unless you put your fingerprint in it or just gob it up, you're not, this is like foolproof. Like I was like, oh, it's going to come out looking crappy. And it, it, <laughs> it looks like a galaxy. It looks like a nebula or something. Um, and like I said, this is just the first layer. I already had this tray. Um, it used to sit on my coffee table. It's even got the little felt, little feet on the bottom that I put so it wouldn't scratch my coffee table. Um, and I thought, what a great, perfect specimen 
So if I mess it up, that I won't be mad. <laughs> um, but it's just regular plastic. Um, once this is dry tomorrow, I'm not sure where I'm going to go from there. Um, I really can't wait to see what the deal is. I am spotting some bubbles. So let me get some of those out. This has already been sitting for, I don't know, five or ten minutes. Um, if you don't have a heat gun yet, I would suggest letting it sit before, um, after you do bubbles and then go back and go back over it because I just did this and there's still bubbles. But if you wait too long, once you go over it with the heat, it will look like the like really bad pores on someone's face. Like it, you'll have those little those little spots, those little indentions. Um, and be careful because this is hot, and if you touch it, it will light you up. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I was the I don't know if you guys can see the glitter in there. I hope so. Um, I'm super impressed with this like I love it already and it's not even dry um, I really hope you guys can get a good look of like there's so the glitter gives you depth um, especially because I put it in the white so it sank to the bottom um, I, I love it already um, it, I definitely I don't know that I would use another black tray unless I was going for that that kind of effect because I if I was using some other colors, you wouldn't be able to see them because this is black. Um, I'm, I don't know what else I'm going to do to it, but if I don't do anything else, I'll just put a fresh top coat on um, tomorrow after that's dry. And I promise, promise, Scout's Honor, that I will check my storage before I start filming so that we can make sure we get everything for you to see. Um, that's pretty much about it for now. Um, I did uh, work on my workspace. This is it. Those are the flowers that I'm going to press after they live their best life. I didn't want to just press them automatically because that's not cool. Um, but here is my space. Got some sunlight for you guys. So when I'm showing off stuff, you will get a better view of that. Um, really excited to show you guys all the stuff, all the creations that I'm going to make. Um, I feel like I picked the perfect time of year to start doing this because it's almost Halloween and I love, um, morbid, creepy, blood coffins, fangs, all black. That's, that's my vibe. That's totally my vibe. So, um, I have a ton of other molds and please stay tuned.